been in cycling for many years, uh, has done railways, and uh, all of Hyderabad proud. Maxi, how did you even take to cycling, man? We don't have coaches in this city. Mumtaz uh, was one coach, but we didn't have coaches. How did you even become a cyclist from here? You very rightly said uh, Mumtaz Ahmed, Ustad Mumtaz Ahmed Saab was my coach, and he had the ability of uh, spotting talent. He had a YSD motorcycle, and he would go on his motorcycle behind uh, people riding cycles, and he would follow them for a, for a while, and then he would stop them if he seen talent in them, and that's how he stopped my brother. It was the year 1976, when my brother was riding on tank bun on an ordinary cycle, hero cycle. When he followed him right along the length of tank bun, and then he stopped him, and he told him, I'll make you the national champion. My brother just laughed it off and went. He went ahead and stopped him again. He said, I am not joking. I'll make you the national champion. And my brother went to him. And true enough, it was the year 1977, he became the national champion in, in Bangalore. And, and likewise, Mumtaz Ahmad Saab, I wish he was here today. He's in the United States of America. And he's, uh, his, his health is not very good. Most of the old people here know who I'm talking about. And uh, you know, he came, he seen me one day. It was the 15th of August. Uh, we had a local race in my colony. And wherever they were cycling, Mumtaz would be there because he would come to spot talent. And he seen me ride this, this local race. And he told me, you'll break the national record. So I just laughed it off. And then he said, you come to me. And then he took me into cycling. It was 1980. 1981, I became the junior national champion. 1982, I broke the senior record. And when I broke the senior national record, he told me, you will break the Olympic record. And then I thought he's going too far. I, I, I thought this is just a joke. But I came 0.04 seconds close to breaking the Olympic record. And I think that 0.04 seconds was not Mumtaz's fault, but it was my fault. I think he's seen the talent. I had it. But I, I thought myself that I couldn't do it. You know, I was not confident. He was more confident in me than what I was in myself. And I owe all thanks to Mumtaz Ahmad Saab. We miss him tremendously in Hyderabad. And uh, I'm in regular touch with him. I keep talking to him. And I'm coaching now, and I still take tips from him. And it's real valuable tips that he gives me. And uh, as you said, we came out from nowhere. It is only because of one man, and that is my Ustad, Ustad Mumtaz Ahmad Saab. Thank you.